Hi there, my name is Jackie King and I'm an inbound marketing consultant here at Blue Leads. Today we're gonna go over how to create buyer personas. Before we get started, if you're not sure what a buyer persona is, they're your ideal customer. It's important to know everything about them from their pain points to their goals, to their day-to-day -day life, industries, and everything in between. The reason you wanna know all of this information is so that you're targeting your content towards the right audience. If you're not writing your content towards the correct audience, you're gonna end up with unqualified visits and leads to your website. First things first, let's start with some general questions that you should ask. Who's their main industry? Is there a top three maybe that they focus on? What's their elevator pitch? What are some of their pain points and challenges they face? Next, let's talk about the specific advantages of your products or services for your personas. How do they help resolve issues or pain points? How do they provide value? It's also important to note who you don't want to work with as a customer. Do they have cost limitations? Are you looking to work with a particular size company? Do they have scalability issues that could be a problem in the future? All of these are important to consider when determining a good fit customer. It's equally as important to consider who would be a bad fit. You should also consider the general market your personas are in. What's their audience like? What industry are they in? What are sales cycles like and how competitive or regulated are their industries? Do they use social media? What's their job title? What are their responsibilities and roles within that job title? These are all important things to know when you're determining the market of all of your personas. Don't forget about your questions surrounding the buying and sales process. Where are your personas finding their info? What is that process like? Are they looking on blogs, forums, social media? These are all important to know. In fact, how does your sales process work? Where is the handoff between sales and marketing? This is all important when creating your marketing messaging so that you're pitching the right content to the right persona. Finally, we want to talk about including objections and pushback in your buyer personas. Why don't people buy? What are some of their objections in the sales process? This ties back to your sales and marketing because it's important to let your salespeople know some of these objections ahead of time before they get on the phone with them. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it helps you create some kick-ass buyer personas.